And the first artist we have today is Katie Kwan. Um, she joined us for the 2020 residency. She's a native of San Francisco and she's a third generation Chinese American. She is the creator of Generation, an illustration based web series. She currently teaches at City College of San Francisco and San Francisco State University. And that is a very truncated version of her resume. Katie does everything and all the things. We're really, really proud of her. And without further ado, let's have Katie Kwan take the stage, girlfriend. Um, thank you. Thank you, Ron, for that really, really nice introduction. <laughs> um, I'm super excited to be here. I'm also kind of nervous all of a sudden, um, but I'm really thankful for Cynthia and Iran um, and everyone else who have really made this space super, super special um, and exciting and um, ultimately very, very healing. Uh, at this time, grief has been sort of a running theme for this past year, especially for myself. Um, and we see it reminded consistently every day, especially with COVID happening. Um, but through my own self-exploration, I see and I find myself discovering and challenging sort of everything that I've been taught, all the people that have been part of these, um, part of my own upbringing and all my own memories that I do carry along. Um, I find myself being highly sensitive towards anything that has to do with old pictures um, and old memories. And with this, it comes with a lot of longing, anguish, concern, and of course, overthinking of just past um, selves, really. And so when I do revisit all of these emotions and triggers, um, it, it comes into a cycle. And I finally, I think I'm starting to find peace within that. Um, and with that peace, I find um, new life, really. And before I guess I keep, I, go, I keep on going, I do want to acknowledge that I think my family is watching on YouTube live. So my family, um, and, and I'm excited to have you along. Um, this is their first time hearing this. And so um, it will be interesting um, to see sort of what they say as well. Um, so I'd like to read my personal statement. Um, it is called A Love Letter to Camp Orange. My Gong Gong passed away last year, a few months after my papa sold the house. 2434 East Valley Glen Lane. My papa and Gong Gong lived there for over 50 years. My mom and aunties grew up there. My cousins and I grew up there. Unlike Magic Trick, first it was there and then it was gone. I am the first grandchild to Paul and Catherine Lamb. Born in 1993, you can only imagine the excitement new grandparents must have to contain. Rumor has it that a week after I was born, my parents drove seven to eight hours to Orange. The moment they arrived, Papa and Gung burst out of the house, opened the car door, and took me inside, conveniently leaving mom and dad to bring in the luggage. As children, my sister and I spent nearly every summer in Orange, California. Camp Orange as it became. There we spent hours crafting, gardening, and swimming. Papa takes us to the library, leaving my sister and I to build a kingdom from piles and piles of books. Inspired by this newfound love, we bring home tales of wonder and magic. Gong Gong takes us to the 99 cent store, allowing us to spring up and down the aisles in search for the summer's best toy. Water guns are always a smash. We arrive as pasty San Francisco city dwellers and leave sun-kissed California suburban girls. Five, six, seven grandchildren later, we inherit Papa's performative spirit and Gung Gung's quirky sense of humor. Over time, we do it all, Christmas plays to family newsletters, team categories to mahjong. My grandparents brag about us all the time. I learned this during Paul's Monday walks around the mall. Their friends talk nonstop about our dance performances um, during my Papa and Gung Gong's 50th anniversary. As an awkward teenager, 
I managed to throw away my pride and dance in public to S Club 7's Reach for the Stars, a show inspired by Disney Cruise performers. To this day, I've never seen my papa smile so brightly. Years later, they asked me how my teaching is. They asked me about my art, my passions. They even approve of my Chinese Hong Kong boyfriend. And this is a very, very difficult task to do. Very good looking, they say. If only their own grandchildren could find themselves a good looking Chinese boyfriend too. As we know, time slips away so fast. It's easy to get caught up in illusions of getting ahead in life. There's never enough time to call family or get in touch with friends. There's always some place to be and something to do. A love letter to Camp Orange captures simple moments with my grandparents. Papa's kitchen is the first place we head to every morning. Together, we sit at the round white table, passing around sections of the newspaper. My favorite are the comics. I love to laugh. Gong Gong loves the obituaries. He, tell, he loves seeing how long he's outlived everyone else. Gong Gong drinks watered down coffee. I drink milk. He tells me if I drink all my milk and finish college, we'll travel the world together. On the brightest days, Papa and Gong Gong, my sister and I still sit there eating Papa's tasty sugar-covered teriyaki chicken and buttered rice. We talk about the adventures we created and explored all through the rooms of 2434, east of Valley Glen Lane. Our hands and smiles fly all over the place. Our cheeks are rosy, our hair wild. Gong Gong fumbles with the remote control, getting himself ready for 60 minutes. Tomorrow, we will be going back home. The skies are purple and orange, the pool lit. A cold whisper, whisper, uh, a cold whisper breezes through the screen door. Gong Gong closes it. Chilly, he says. Mosquitoes won't come tonight. My sister and I nod as we gulp down the last of our bowls. In the army, Gong Gong had to eat fast if he wanted a second bowl. It must have passed down through the generations. We get up from our chairs, ready for a new bowl. Mom will not allow for such fatty rice when we go home, only at Camp Orange. Our summer days are coming to an end. And during his last final months, I tell Gong Gong that we will travel. I will push him around in a wheelchair if it's the last thing I do. And he chuckles and shakes his head. I must go on this journey alone. Find yourself, he jokingly says. He always says this, find yourself. And so with that, um, I also do wanna acknowledge that the house has been sold. Uh, my grandparents, they their last name is Lamb. And um, it's nice to know that the family who bought the new house, their last name is also Lamb. And so it stays within the Lamb um, family. But thank you so much for listening. Thank you, Katie. Uh, I couldn't help but wonder, is Gong Gong me? Because I also love 60 Minutes and I also love reading the obituaries for whatever reason. So I, I kept feeling Gong Gong's presence with me. So thank you, thank you for that, that was lovely.